What a Sunday of football, ladies and gentlemen. Ocarina of Fire here. Thanks y'all for checking in. So, we're going to talk about week 17 of the NFL regular season. What a great, 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 great day of football it really was. I mean, if you're a football fan, if you're a sports fan, this is all you can ask for in a finale to a regular season. They had us glued to the seat, glued to the TV all day long. Late games, early games, we still got a game coming up in a couple hours, uh, Eagles-Cowboys, that's going to be a great game as well. And it was just insane how these playoff races literally came down to the wire. You had the uh, Packers pulling it out with under a minute left with an unbelievable throw by Aaron Rodgers. You had the Chargers pulling it out in overtime after, you know, suck up for the Chiefs, misses a field goal after the Ravens lost, after the Dolphins lost. The Steelers winning, thinking they had a chance. They were this close to going to the playoffs themselves. You know, Arizona's fighting for their lives against the uh, San Francisco 49ers. And it was just an all around great Sunday football. Had a couple of records broken today. Peyton Manning having the best single greatest season for a quarterback in the history of the NFL, pushed the uh, single season touchdown record to 55, throwing for another four touchdown passes this afternoon, and uh, surpassed Drew Brees and set a new record for most uh, passing yards in a single season with 5,211. So congrats to Peyton Manning. Andrew Luck, Peyton Manning's uh, successor, um, broke Cam Newton's record for the most passing yards by a quarterback in his first two years. Colts are rolling, going to the playoffs themselves. Cincinnati Bengals winning the NFC North, going to the playoffs for the first time in franchise history, three years in, years in a row, so congrats to them. And then you had Robert Mathis setting the, uh, leading the league in sacks this year with 19 and a half. Congrats to him, especially as a Colts fan. A lot of people doubted if he could do it without Dwight Freeney going to an outside linebacker, but he's proved all the doubters wrong on him. So congrats to all those guys who broke them records, and let's get to the game. So this afternoon, you know, the early games, we had the Ravens, uh, Bengals, and the Dolphins, Jets. Either team, if the Dolphins won, they were in. If the Bengals won and the Dolphins lose, they were in. So neither team showed up. Both teams played terrible. You know, the Bengals really just pushed around the Baltimore Ravens in a way that you really don't expect a Super Bowl champion to be pushed around. Joe Flacco really was terrible all day long. The defense just kept them in the game, forcing four interceptions, and um, just the Ravens offense couldn't capitalize, just getting three field goals, and then when they finally scored their touchdown in the fourth quarter, it was just too late. Then you uh, moving over to the Jets and the Dolphins. The Dolphins just... Couldn't get the job done, especially at home. That's a very beatable Jets team, you know, and just the Jets wanted it more. And you can't have that when you're about to be, when you're alive for a playoff spot. You can't have, you know, another team who's playing for nothing want it more than you. So the Dolphins and the Ravens both lost. They were out. So it set up everything perfectly for the San Diego Chargers. They needed the Ravens and the Dolphins to both lose out to have a shot, and they did. It was a great game back and forth. The Chiefs set everyone, so it was the Chiefs B team against the Chargers A team. Uh, Chargers win, they're in. Lose, they're out. And it goes down to the wire in a fourth quarter. Two seconds left. Ryan Suckup misses a field goal for the Kansas City Chiefs. And all of Steeler Nation was just pissed. I can just imagine it. Now, I remember a couple years back when um, the Colts played the Titans. Um, if the, t Col the Cleveland Browns needed the Colts to beat the Titans, so they would get in. But then the Colts rested all their players. So the Titans went on to win and get into the playoffs. So the Browns, in a similar situation to what the Steelers are, needed the uh, Chiefs to beat the Chargers to get in. But the game went to overtime, um, about 10 minutes in overtime before a score even happened. You know, a couple three and outs went back and forth. The Chargers finally got a few goal to go ahead, and the defense was eventually able to hold strong, stopping the Kansas City Chiefs, Chase Daniel in that offense. And the Chargers are moving on to the playoffs. They're going to be the sixth seed in the AFC playoffs and will be playing the Cincinnati Bengals. Don't know the matchups yet. I'll probably post a video about that in the near future. On to the NFC. We had the game of the afternoon, Bears-Packers. And let's just say, this was a heavyweight fight, and it lived up to all the hype. Aaron Rodgers coming back, Jay Cutler trying to get his team into the playoffs, and it came down to the final minute of the game. I mean, I'm sitting here watching the game, and I was just baffled by why uh, the Green Bay Packers decided to run the ball on that second down. But on fourth down, fourth and ten, uh, a little bit of a broken play. Aaron Rodgers found a wide-open Cobb in the end zone for a touchdown to go up five. And it was just 
an unbelievable, unbelievable game. It was just unbelievable to watch back and forth throughout, and it's everything you expect from these games. I mean, back in my prediction, I figured what, if unless Aaron Rodgers is going to make a big play or someone's going to make a big mistake, and that mistake happened to come from Alshon Jeffrey. He missed. He dropped a bad pass with about seven, six, seven minutes to go in the game on a third down, and. It turned out if he caught that pass, it would have been deep in Green Bay territory and we'd be able to run out the clock. But wasn't able to do it. Packers going on to win. They win the NFC North and will be the fourth seed to play the San Francisco 49ers this next weekend as well. So that's um, what we had for the big games. New Orleans won, so they're in, eliminating the Arizona Cardinals. And that was really it for a playoff matchup. Seattle won, so they're going to be number one. Denver's winning, going to win, so they're going to be number one. All the uh, seedings are just about set. The only uh, play in now is who's going to be the uh, three seed in the um, NFC. It's going to be the Eagles or the Cowboys, depending on who wins tonight. And our matchups will be... Um, known at halftime for the Sunday night game as well. You know, we begin to hear rumors that Rob Chizitsky from the Browns and Mike Shanahan are going to be fired tomorrow, and uh, Rex Ryan will be back. So tomorrow is Black Monday for coaches in the NFL, so there will prob probably be a lot of news about coaches being fired. So tomorrow I'll probably preview the playoffs games, uh, give you all the times for that, and we'll talk about um, – coaches that are getting fired and seem to be getting fired. So that's all I got for tonight. Hope you all enjoyed that Sunday football as much as I did. Ocker and a fire checking out. Have a good night. Go Eagles. Need them for my fantasy team.